y'all doing? My name is Israel Hyatt. All right, what's your name again, Big Boom? Junior. Junior? My man right here, what's your name? Angelo. What's that? Angelo. Angelo. All right, so the brother had a good question when he walked up. He was asking, why do our people, those people you see on that sign, why do we occupy the uh, prison systems, right? You ever wonder that? Because do you know who occupy the prisons the most? We do. When you say we, who are you speaking about? Latinos and blacks. And Latinos and blacks, exactly. Yeah, God said it was going to happen because we did not keep his commandments. You know what I'm saying? Give me Isaiah 42 and 22 real quick. All right? The Bible prophesied about that. And the things we're about to read, God said it's going to be a sign to show you who the children of Israel is. You know what I mean? So the Bible said the children of Israel are going to occupy the criticism. You got that? I read. The book of Isaiah chapter 42 and 22. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. So the Bible says that the Israelites, the people he's speaking to, have been robbed and spoiled, right? What's your name, big bro? Tyrone? All right. Tyrone Jr. All right. So it said this is the people that have been robbed and spoiled. I got you, bro. Appreciate it. So we got robbed and spoiled when we went into captivity, right? You see that? So uh, the leaders of the Northern Kingdom, when they came over here, even on down, the Puerto Ricans, the Cubans, the Dominicans, so on and so forth, the leaders of those tribes, they used to call them cacique. You see what I'm saying? The so-called white man, or the, yeah, the so-called white man or the Spanish conquistadors came over and put those leaders into captivity. You see what I'm saying? That's how we became robbed and spoiled. Our leaders, they took them out of the place, put them in captivity, <laughs> killed them, to the, did the same thing to our young men, raped our women. You see what I'm saying? That's the true. Bible said that the Israelites have been robbed and spoiled. That's how that happened. The riches of this land, it belongs to our forefathers. Right. But right. well, we don't control it anymore. In Puerto Rico, we don't control those resources. You see what I'm saying? Same thing in Cuba. The same thing in Haiti, the same thing in even Africa. You see what I'm saying? We don't control the resources that was given to us. That's how we became wild and spoiled. You see what I'm saying? All right. We don't. They are all of them snared in holes. The Bible said they became snared in holes. Y'all know what a snare is? Yeah. What's a snare? Getting caught. Right, getting caught. If you, if you ever went hunting, you know they set snares or whatever for like rabbits or small animals? Yeah. You trap them. Yeah. The Bible said that the Israelites have been trapped. How do we become trapped? What's some examples of us being Con. trapped? What's that? Con. Okay. Being con, being um, captured, being beaten down, taken away. Uh-huh. What else? What, what else you think? My man right here. Put in prison. How, how else have we been trapped or snared? Oh, society, dead, media. Right. Technology. For example, right, um, the jobs, right, or uh, industrial jobs in our communities. Do we have those here? We don't. So it's real hard for our people to find work. When you have kids and a wife at home or a girl, girlfriend, which you should have a wife anyway, but if you try to take care of your family and there's no jobs available, how do we get money? For the large portion of us, how do we get money? Drug dealing. Drug dealing, what else? You gotta go out and Camping, you know, what else? Do. Robbing. Right. Robin. These are examples of how we became trapped. We got put in these communities where there's no jobs, jobs at, but then they introduce drugs in your community. You right. see what I'm saying? We look at the media and perpetuate right. uh, prostitution and pimping. Right. And our people see that, and we use that as a way to get money when it's actually a trap. Right. Bring it out. Hold it. Get Psalm chapter 10 and verse 9. We're coming back. Psalm chapter 10 and verse 9. Because it's all set up for our people to be continue to be robbed and spoiled. You understand what I'm saying? Scott. All right, we got brought over here in captivity, and you think they really want to let their slaves go? All this is built up on free labor. When you get put in prison, that's actual legal uh, slavery. Bring it out. We have to work for them for very, very low pay, sometimes not even any pay whatsoever. Right. right. Watch this, read that. The book of Psalm, chapter 10, and verse 9. He lieth in wait secretly. The Bible says the people who put us in captivity, they lie in wait secretly, right? Y'all ever heard of speed traps? Y'all drive, right? When you drive in, you, uh, and it's a police car like right on the other side of that building where you can't see it, that's how he got a lion wake secret. Even with the uh, drugs set up in this community. In Chicago, they dropped off a bait truck, right? They had free shoes in there. They left the thing open. Because <laughs> they knew the kids going to run in there and try to take those shoes. Because why are we in poverty? We don't have very much money. So that is the way that they lie away secretly. They leave these opportunities out there for our people to commit crimes, and then they do it. You see what I'm saying? We don't. He lieth in wait secretly as a lion in his den. Uh -huh. He lieth in wait to catch the poor. To catch the who? The poor. 
The Bible says that this man who oppressed us, he lying wait to catch the poor. That's us. We're poor in spirit. We don't know who we are. Before y'all walked up today, y'all never knew that y'all was Israelites before. You Bring see what I'm saying? Out. Not only are we poor in spirit, but if you look at our conditions, when you look at uh, the, the neighborhoods that we live in, are we not a poor people? We are. Because right. we know exactly right. when you get into like the rich neighborhood, and it's not our people that occupy it. Right. Now, the Bible says that the Israelites are going to be set up so they can be put in prison houses. You see what I'm saying? Right. Go back to Isaiah 42 and 22. Got that? So y'all follow me so far? Yes, the sir. Bible said these people were going to be set up where they were going to be put into captivity to work for free. And once they got here, when we had some semblance of freedom, when we didn't have the chains on our necks, we were still going to be set up to get put in prison. You see what I'm saying? Yes. They're going to hear Jim Crow laws, uh -huh. the black codes. They found right. any way to be able to put us in prison. Bring Same thing happens today. You see what I'm saying? Right. All right, read that. The book of Isaiah, chapter 42 and verse 22. Bring it out. Hey, hey, real quick. Because... Going into that, the setting snares privily, right? We all understand that drugs is bad, right? The the time that you get for the drugs that's predominantly sold in a black and Latino neighborhood, you get more time for that, right? Right, right. When you sell cocaine, you sell crack, right? They both are, uh, uh, what, level three scheduled drugs? They're very high rating of drugs. Right. There's a different time for cocaine and what it is for crack. They both wicked, right, but it's right. different time for both. Why? Because the so-called white man, they use cocaine, but the, our people in our community, they're the one that uses crack. Right. And right. who's the one that sells them the crack? Their own people. You see what I'm saying? Right. So they set it up where they get even more time. This is land snares privilege. You see what I'm saying? This is the trap that they set up for our people. Read that again from the top. The book of Isaiah, chapter 42 and verse 22. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. Uh -huh. They are all of them snared in holes. Come on. And they are hidden in prison houses. In what? In prison houses. And who did you say occupy the prisons the most right now? Blacks and Latinos. God said it happened to the Israelites. You see what I'm saying? Right. right. So if it's the blacks and Latinos and the Native Americans who occupy the predominant percentage of the prison houses, then who are the Israelites? These people you see on this sign. You see that? That's, That's right. right. And God said all that to sign to show you who that uh the, who the Israelites saw in these last days. But up. the reason why we go into captivity, give me uh Isaiah 59. We're gonna start at verse one. All right. Oh, because you remember. God is only dealing with these people on this side. He's only the God of those people. So if he is our God and we're supposed to have the power upon the earth, why is it that we occupy the prison houses? Why is it that we're in the ghettos? Why is it that we can't find work? This is why. Read that. The book of Isaiah chapter 59 and verse 1. Bring it out. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot save. So we know that the Most High God has the power to save his people. Right. You know what I'm, saying? I'm saying? He's the only power on earth. He's the only true God of the earth. So right. nothing that's stopping him from saving us, right? Read right. Right. Neither is ears heavy. Come on. That it cannot hear. Because he hear our groanings. If y'all familiar with Moses and his wife when they were in Egypt, he said he heard our groanings. He hear it now, right? So he, his hand's not shut that he can't save and he hear and he see the things that we're going through. But why hasn't he saved us? Read that. Your iniquities, your what? Iniquities uh -huh. have separated between you and your God. The Bible says our iniquities is what separated between us and our God. Hosea 4. All right, so what separated these people from the Most High God is the things that we do in our community. So we just touched on it, right? The drug dealing. What else happened in our communities? Uh, islands. Uh, what kind? Of, yeah, violence, right? Yeah, what else? What else happened in our communities? Shootings? What else? Because there's a lot of things that happen. We might look at it as something that's um, that's regular now, right? Something that's accepted. Like boyfriend and girlfriend. Is that something that's acceptable with God? It's not, right? So this is another example of the things that we do that separate us from God. You right. see what I'm saying? Read that. Read the book of Hosea, chapter 4 and verse 1. Read it out. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. Ye children of who? Ye children of Israel. So the Bible is only dealing with the Israelites all throughout it. And we got to get back to Deuteronomy 28 because we got to bring out exactly who you are in the Bible. You see what I'm saying? But the Bible's only dealing with one nation of people. We don't. For the Lord have a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. You know what, what a controversy is? You know what a controversy is, my boy? What's a controversy? Don't know? What about you? What's a controversy? 
Uh-huh. Argument. Our argument, right? This is agreement. God said he has a controversy with the people on those signs. We're going to see why. We don't. Because there is no truth. So he said the reason why he has a disagreement or argument or controversy with people is because they don't have any truth. Y'all know what the truth is according to the Bible? Get the truth. Because... The uh, Christian church would never teach you these basics of the Bible. That God said that the reason why he separated from us is because we don't exercise truth in our community. Right. right. We got to read what the truth is. All right. Psalm 119, 122. Read that. The book of Psalm, chapter 119, verse 142. Bring it up. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. So the Bible says that righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. So whatever we're about to read, what this righteousness is, God said it's everlasting. Bring and it he out. never went away. It's still here today, right? We don't. And thy law. Thy what? Thy law. So that righteousness is God's law. All right? You understand that? So God's law is even in place today. We don't the truth and it's the truth go back to Hosea 4 and 1 so God said he separated from us because we don't practice his law you right. see what I'm saying part of his law is love thy neighbor as thyself if right. you selling drugs to your brother or your sister is that love your neighbor as yourself no, no? what about smoking that, that'll be going against the laws of God right yeah, that's, that's... okay Wait, watch this read on the book of Hosea, chapter 4 and verse 1. Right oh. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. Uh -huh. For the Lord have a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. Because there is no truth. That means we don't have God's laws in our community. That's right. why we have a lot of single parent households. That's why we got a lot of people selling drugs, gunning people down. That's why our people are smoking the dope, smoking the cigarettes, getting drunk early in the morning because we don't have God's laws. Right. right? We don't. Nor mercy. Nor what? Mercy. Up in New York, uh, a few months back, it was a young man from Puerto uh, Rico, Cuba, right? He was stabbed over 30 odd times by 10 different brothers who were from his same nation. You see what I'm saying? That's not having mercy. They mercifully stabbed this young man, 16 years old, to death with machetes. You understand what I'm saying? That only happened in our community. You don't see a white man doing that to another white man. You don't see that. Right. You don't see the Asians or the Japanese. You see what I'm saying? That only happened in our communities. We don't nor knowledge of God in the land. Come on. By swearing, By swearing lying, read. and lying, uh -huh. and killing, and what? Killing, Come on. and stealing, uh -huh. and committing adultery. Now, these are all things that are prevalent in our communities, right? God said this is the problem that he has. We don't. They break out, uh -huh. and blood toucheth blood. So they mean blood touches blood, your brother that killed his own brother. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us.
more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.